One of my favorite things about working with vectors is having the ability to make complex designs out of simple shapes. A good example of such would be this iconic leaf design that was made using only two circles, a square, and a little bit of design magic. In today's lesson, I'll be showing you how. So getting us started here, the first thing we're going to do is draw our circle. So I'm going to locate the circles and ellipses tool, which is located over here. And then I'm going to click and drag on the canvas while holding down the control key so we get a nice, perfectly round circle like that. Now what I'm going to do is open up the fill and stroke menu, which is located over here. Or you could press control, shift and F to open that up and it should open up on the right hand side of your screen over here. Now you can use these sliders to make this whatever color you'd like. I'm going to make my leaf green, so I'm going to use a green shade over here. There we go. And what I'm going to do now is reduce the opacity of this circle. I want to drop this down roughly in half because it's important that we're going to see through the shapes that we're about to work with. Once you've done that, you can go back to the select tool over here. And what I want to do is right click on this object and go to duplicate. And now we have two copies of it. So now I'm going to hold down my control key and click and drag this shape down here so that we have this intersecting area between these two circles right here, which is going to represent our leaf shape. So now I'm going to create a new object out of these intersecting areas by clicking and dragging over both of them. We want to make sure we have both of them selected and then go to path and select intersection. And this is going to represent part of our leaf anyway. So now we're going to create this stem. I'm going to put this off to the side for now. I'm going to use a couple of squares to make this stem. I'm going to grab the uh, squares and rectangles tool, which is over here. Click and drag on the canvas to create your shape. Hold down control to lock the aspect ratio so we get a nice symmetrical square like that. And now what we want to do is first make sure that the corners of this square are sharp. Up here in the toolbar, this icon right here that reads make corners sharp when you hover your cursor over it. If it's grayed out, then that means your corners are already sharp and you're good to go. If you have rounded corners, go ahead and click that button and it'll make your corners sharp. Okay, so let's convert this to a path now. Let's go to path and select object to path. And now we can grab the nodes tool, which is right here. And I'm gonna click and drag over this node right here to select it, and I'm going to press delete on the keyboard to get rid of that node. And then I'm gonna click and drag over the rem remaining three nodes and make them sharp by clicking on this button up here that says make selected nodes corner. And now we have this triangle shape like that. So let's go back to our select tool. Let's give this a different color so we can differentiate it from the leaf when we apply it over. And I'm gonna make this red. And I'm going to right click this and go to duplicate. And I'm going to make this one a different color. I'll make this one blue. And then I'll come up here where it says uh, flip selected objects vertically. I'll do that. So it's flipped vertically. And I'm going to hold control and move this one down here like that. Now we want this to attach to this right here. So I'm going to temporarily turn on snapping, which is this little magnet icon up here in the top right corner. And then you should be able to just click and drag and snap it in place like that. And then we also want to flip this horizontally. So come over here where it says flip selected objects horizontally and select that. This is what we're looking for right here. So let's turn off snapping now. Uh, actually, no, you know what? Let's leave that on for now. I'm gonna click and drag over both of these objects. I'm gonna group them together by going to object and selecting group. And then I'm just going to take this bottom node right here or this bottom handle and just bring this up so that we end up with a shape like this. So we have these two triangles, these two long triangles going this way. And now I'm gonna take my leaf. Let me bring this over here. Let me make this a little bigger. I'm gonna hold control and I'm gonna click and drag this scaling handle right here to scale that up. And I wanna take the corners, this corner of this object right here and snap it into this corner right here, just like that. And now we can turn off our snapping because if we leave that enabled any further, it's just gonna get in our way. So now we have our stem in place. I'm just gonna hold control and move this over like this. I might even make this a little more, a little longer like that. And what's, how this works is this red object is gonna represent the stem and this blue object is actually gonna be used as negative space for this leaf. Let me show you what I mean here. Let's ungroup this object. Let's go to object and select ungroup and then click off of the graphic to deselect everything. I'm going to select just this blue shape right here and then I'm gonna hold shift and click on the green leaf right there. So we have both of them selected and I'm going to subtract those two shapes from each other by going to path difference. And now we end up with something like that right there. So let's click and drag over everything here, both of those objects, and go to path union. 
And now we have our base shape for the leaf. In fact, we can take the opacity of this and bring this back up. And I'm gonna scale this down. I'm gonna hold control and to lock the proportions and scale that down like that. So we have a rudimentary leaf here. We're gonna make this look a little more whimsical and, and with curved edges uh, by using the pen tool. So let me uh, right click on this and go to copy or the pencil tool rather. Come over here to the pencil tool or the dr draw freehand lines tool. You can use the letter P on your keyboard to access that. And up here where it says shape in the tool setting, we wanna change that to from clipboard. And the smoothing up here, this is important as well. This is based on, this will vary based on your screen resolution, but I'm gonna start out with 60 and see how that looks. And now what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna click and drag like this to create a line like that. And if you notice, it took that, that, it took that uh, shape and stretched it out along that path. Now the problem here is that the, the leaf is way too thin. So let's come over here to the Edit Paths My Nodes tool. And there should be some little, there should be a little handle right here that you could just pull out like this. And it increases the size of your leaf, as you can see here. And this right here is the effect we're going for. So let me make this green. Let me remove the stroke by holding shift and clicking on the red X over here. And now I'm gonna grab my selection tool and scale this down to size. A little more, little more of a normal size like that. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finalize this by converting it to a path. I'll go to path and select object to path. And we have a little bit of a whimsical leaf here. Now the problem is I'm not too happy with how these lines look. They don't look as fluid as they could be. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna manually adjust them. Let me zoom in on this by holding control and rolling up the mouse wheel. I'm going to grab my edit paths by nodes tool and I'm gonna click on this object to select it. And if you see all of these little nodes here going along this edge, I'm gonna select all of those nodes I'm gonna hold shift while doing this to make sure I can select multiple nodes at a time. And we wanna have only these nodes selected up here and then just press delete on the keyboard to get rid of them. And now you should have these two handles that you can adjust according to your preference. So I wanna give this more of a fluid contour like that. That looks a lot better. So I'm gonna do the same thing down here now. I'm gonna start selecting these nodes while holding shift on my keyboard so I can select multiple nodes at a time. And then press delete on the keyboard to get rid of them. And now I can take this handle and manually shape it however I please. Okay, there we go. That looks a lot better. So let me grab this selection tool. I'm going to press one on the keyboard to zoom back out to 100%. And there you go. Now we have one of our leaves. Okay, so let me show you another way you can do this. Or actually, let me just show you how to make another leaf of another uh, style. Instead of drawing the curved line like I did before, I'm gonna draw like a U-shaped line. So I should still have this copied to my clipboard. We do have the settings in place here from clipboard. I'm just gonna click and drag to create like a smiley face like that. Okay, that didn't come out as expected. That looks really sloppy right there. So I'm gonna press Control Z to undo that. I'm going to increase the smoothing up to 70. And try that again. Okay, that looks a little better. That, that's, not, that's still not what I'm looking for, but that's enough for me to work with. So I'm gonna leave it as it is. Let me grab my selection tool. Let me scale this down like that. I'm gonna hold Control and Shift while scaling so I can scale from the center and preserve the proportions. And I'm going to make this green. I'll remove the stroke by holding Shift and clicking the X. And I will go to Path, Object to Path. And now I can go to my Edit Paths by Nodes tool. And let me zoom in and clean this up a little bit. Press the delete key to get rid of those nodes, just like we did before, same process. Take this handle and take this handle and bring that in a little bit. There we go. And then I will take these handle, take these nodes down here and get rid of them, just like I did before, just to make this more smooth. I missed one right there. Let me get rid of that one. There we go. So let me adjust this handle. And I think this one looks pretty good. Yeah, that's good enough. And once you're done, you can grab the selection tool, zoom out to 100% by pressing one on the keyboard. And there we go, now we have another leaf. And there you go, you should get the idea. You can draw all of these different whimsical style leaves by grabbing your pencil tool over here and drawing different contours, as you can see there, like that. Or maybe not, maybe not as sloppy, but you get the idea. Okay, so there we go. Let me take this one, scale this down. And there we go, there is another leaf. 
Okay, so now we have all of these different leaves and different shapes going in different directions and different contours. And you could actually arrange these to make somewhat of a pattern, or you can use these for logos or icons or whatever else you'd like. Uh, so I think that should do it for this tutorial. That is how you can draw simple iconic leaves using Inkscape. Before I end this video, if you found this lesson useful, then consider checking out my Inkscape Masterclass. It's a collection of over 60 videos where I go over all of the tools and features in Inkscape, and I explain what they are and demonstrate how they work. Kind of like how I did in this video. We even have a private community where you can ask questions and get help from me anytime you want. And best of all, there's no monthly membership fees. You just pay $17 one time and you're in for life. I'll have some information about that in the description of the video if you want to check that out. As always, thanks for watching.